مرحبا اوكي ان ذيس سيشن وي وونت تو توك اباوت بيرميوتيشنز اتس وي هاف سين ذيس كايند اوف اوبجكت ويتش وي كول بيرميوتيشن بيفور بت ان ذيس سيشن وي وونت تو جيف ات ا سبيشال نيم بيرميوتيشن اتس جاست ان ان تيوبل اور ا فاينايت سيكونس and these objects will be very useful in combinatorics to count the number of ways in accomplishing a mission so let's first uh, define what do we mean by a permutation and then see some examples on how we can use permutations so the starting point is by having a set so let a be is a finite set which contains n distinct elements let's call these set uh, these elements a1 a2 a3 up to an okay so this is the starting point we have a set a and now we want to define what do we mean by a, per a permutation of a so let me go okay so a let me use a different color okay so let's say a k permutation a k per mutation where k is a natural number okay of the set a so of the set a is simply a finite sequence so sequence means order is important okay so a finite sequence of length k of length k of what of distinct elements from a okay distinct elements from a and what is the important word in this definition it's this one okay that we we care about putting k many so k permutation means put or arrange k many distinct elements from the set a which means we are not allowed to repeat elements so okay let's have some examples again so again what says a, a k permutation it's a sequence which means order we are ordering we are arranging objects and what objects are we we are choosing k many objects from where from the set we started with and these objects that we are putting in a sequence must be all distinct which means we should not repeat okay elements in a permutation so let's have an example okay so let's start with the set which contains only two, just two elements so suppose the set a contains the elements small a and small b and let's look what are the one permutations of the set a one permutations of a so what are these again by definition these are the sequences of length one of distinct elements from a so just so this is the first sequence of length one so i just put the element a and the second sequence and another example of a one permutation is this one so we have here two permit we have two permutations one two one permutations okay now let's list the two permutations of a so what do we mean by two permutations again by definition we look at sequences of length two of distinct elements from a so the first example is first we will put the element a and then we need to choose an element distinct from a but there's only one so this is one example of a t of a two permutation what is another example okay I, we can start with b and then here we should put an element different from b but there's only one which is a and these are the only two permutations of this set a so again here we have two two permutations Okay, too many permutations oh, and here as well too many one permutation okay now let's take another example okay let's take another a set of three elements let's call it b and this b contains three elements a b and c and again let's do 
the one permutations okay so what let's do here all one permutations from b and here we list all two permutations from b and here we list all three permutations okay let's do it okay so one permutations means all sequences of length one so we have only three sequences of length one the sequence containing just a the sequence containing just b and the sequence containing just c and here notice that we use round brackets for sequences now two permutations we want sequences of length two of distinct elements from b so if we choose a to be the first element in the sequence then we should choose an element different from A, so either B or C. So let's choose B. This is a first example. Now we can start with A and then choose C. Third example, we can start with B and then it should be different from B, so we can choose A and then B and then C and then, okay, C and then different from C, so either A or B, let's choose A and here we can choose B. Okay. So these are, I think, all the two permutations from this set B, which contains the three letters A, B, C. Now let's take another example. Let's look at three permutations. So three permutations means a sequence of length three of distinct elements from B. So I can, we can start listing the first element A and then some element different from A, say B, and some element different from A and B, so say C. Okay, so look, all the elements here are different. And then we can start with A, and then C, and then B. Notice that these two elements are different. Why? Because, again, a permutation is a, is a sequence, or, a, or here, an n tuple a finite sequence where order is important so this object the first one is different from the second y because the second term is b in the first one but it is c in the second one so order matters in permutations because they are sequences and in sequences order matters okay the second the third example is we can start with b and then we can list a and then c look these this is a sequence of length 3 of distinct elements from B. So this means this is a 3 permutation of B. 3 permutation of B, the set B. Second, we can start with B and then put C and then put A. And then we ask C to come first and then A to come second and B to come third. And finally, we can ask C to come first, B to come second and A to come third. Okay, now, what we want to care about also in this session is the number of such permutations. So look here, we have one, two, three. We have three, one permutations. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, what? Two permutations. And here we have again six, three permutations. Okay, so this number is of our interest in this chapter, in the chapter of combinatorics, which is the art of counting. So we want to count how many k permutations are there in a set which contains n elements. Okay, so let me say, let's find out what is this. So what do we want to find? The number, the number of k permutations okay of a set sorry okay of a set of what of we want to find the number of k permutation of a set having or containing n elements okay let's see so we start again as we started this session we have a set which contains n elements a1 a2 a3 and all of them are distinct 
and now we want to see in how how many k permutations are there okay how many k permutations are there so what is a k permutation by definition it's a sequence okay of what of length k so here we have the first element here we have the second element here we have the third element and the last one will be the kth element of the sequence now what we will be using to find how many k permutations are there is the product rule remember what is the product rule we divide our task into sorry our mission into sev several tasks so here what is the mission is to choose a k permutation how do you choose a k permutation by choosing the first element the second element the third element up to the kth element such that every time you choose an element it should be distinct from the previous ones okay so let's see in how many ways we can choose the first element well we have n elements in a we can choose any of them so here we have n ways okay to choose the first element now in how many ways we can choose the second element we can choose any of the elements in a except the first one because we want it by definition a k permutation contain distinct elements so we have all of them except the first one so n minus one ways to choose the second element now for the third element you have n many except the first two so minus two and so on okay let's see how many elements there are to choose the kth element we can choose any element from a except what all the elements that have been chosen already and how many of them there are so we have at this step at the kth step we chose k minus one many terms in the sequence so this means you can choose any element from the set a except these k minus one so what we will have here is n minus the k minus one already chosen element so this number is n minus k plus one okay and now the product rule says so the number the number of uh, k permutation of a set containing n elements is is the product of these numbers now this number has a special notation it's called n p k what's n p k it's the number of k permutations of a set containing n elements and we've seen that this number is equal to the product of these numbers by the product rule so it's equal to n times okay look it's equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 and so on up to n minus k plus 1 okay now okay we can write this we we have a more compact formula for this number npk okay first let's uh, write this product uh, go down in this product until we reach one so let's let's see n times n minus one times n minus two up to here n minus k plus one but continue so what's the integer below this the predecessor of this integer is n minus k and then keep decreasing until two times one but we only need this number so we want to divide by the extra the additional integers we added in the product which which what are the additional one these are these ones right so it's divided by n minus k times n minus k minus one okay and so on up to until two and then we stop at one right like this number in the red is equal to the fraction in blue but look what is this fraction in blue the numerator is the product from n down to one what do we call this number n factorial 
and what do we call the denominator? It's the product from n minus k down to 1. And so this is n minus k factorial. So this is this number is called npk and we also denote it by p and k as well. So there are different notations for this number. Okay, so let me sum up all what we did saying that the number of k permutations which means the number of sequences of length k of distinct elements permutations of a set containing n elements okay what is this number? This is an important number. Okay, so it's the number of k permutations of a set containing n elements. Okay, so notice here this is the k, the length of the sequences, and this is the n, it is the number of elements in the set we are choosing from, is npk, is denoted by npk. And this number is n factorial divided by n minus k all factorial. Okay. Okay, again, so n is the number of elements of the set we are choosing from, and k is the length of the permutation, which is the length of the sequence of distinct elements from k. Okay, so I hope this, so this is a number, this number, okay, so let's get back to what we did before. Okay, so let's see. <clears throat> Look here, we have a set containing three elements, so n is three, and here we are listing all the one permutation. So this means that three p one. So this is the number of the elements in the set, which are three. A, B, C, and this is the length of the permutation. So 3P1 is equal to 3, right? Because the number of one permutations of a set containing three elements is 3. Here, here are they. 1, 2, and 3. Now, what is this number 6? Six? 6 is equal to the number of two permutations from a set containing three elements. So this is 3P2. And what is this 6? Six? This 6 is the number of three permutations from a set containing three elements. So this is 3p3. Okay. And here, what, what is this number 2? This number 2 is equal to the number of one permutations from a set containing two elements. So this is 2p1. And this number 2 Right, we have two two permutations of a set containing two elements is equal to two p two. Okay. Let's have more example, but I want you to notice that what's n p n. So n p n is the number of n permutations from a set containing n elements. This is this should be n factorial. Why? Because, okay, either you substitute in the formula or just see what, what is this. We want to choose n elements, right? We, we are looking at n permutations, so here we have n terms. Here we have n choices, here we have n minus 1, here we have n minus 2, and we will finish the, them at the end. So at the end we will have only one element remaining because we are choosing distinct elements from a set containing n elements. Okay, so n this is n factorial. This is a special case. Okay, now let's have quick examples. Okay, where we use npk to solve uh, questions. Let's see. In a context, in a contest, we have ten people. So we have a competition with ten people, and we are asking ourselves in how many ways it could be possible to have different outcomes of the competition where we have a first 
place winner, a second place winner, a third place winner. Okay, so suppose we have 10 people, say the people are called A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, I and G and 10 okay so we have the 10 people here and from in these 10 people okay suppose there's a competition and there are the outcome of the competition is we say the winner of the first place is person D and then the second winner is person H and then the third winner is person B so this is one possibility the second possibility is that the winner the first winner is G the second is A and the third is D okay what's okay there's another possibility that here we have the winner is F and then H and then C I don't know the question is in how many how many possible such outcomes are there well look what are we counting we are counting three permutations from this set okay and this set contains 10 people okay three permutations from a set of 10 elements okay why we are using permutations here that because the elements should be distinct the second winner should be different from the first winner and different from the third winner Okay, so all what we want is three per, the number of three permutations from a set containing 10 elements. And what is this number? This is 10 P3, right? We want the number of three permutations from a set of 10 people. And this number is equal to 10 factorial divided by 10 minus 3 factorial which is equal to 10 factorial divided by 7 factorial which is equal to 10 times 9 times 8 many possibilities for the outcomes of such a competition okay so this is equal to 720 okay now let's look at a different question how many different orders are there to visit four cities? Okay, suppose we have four cities. A, B, C, and D. So we have four cities and we want to plan a trip to visit the four cities. So in how, what, in how many different orders we can the, visit the four cities? So, okay, somebody say, says I want to visit first set D and then set B and then set uh, sorry city A and then city C okay another possibility is first we go to city C and then we go to city B and then to city A and then to city D okay another possibility is we start with D and then with B and then with C and then we finish our trip in city a. Okay, notice that what, what are we doing here? We are looking at four permutations Look, because the cities are distinct. We are looking at four permutations. Remember what is a four permutation? It's a sequence of length four. Okay, from which set? From a set containing four cities. Okay, so this is so the number of such different orders is equal to four to the number of these four permutations which is 4 p4 so we are looking at four permutations from a set containing four elements and we know that this is equal to 4 factorial which is 24 many trips there are different trip. so if you want to plan a trip to visit four cities there are 24 ways to plan your trip okay. now let's see here how many strings of four distinct english letters are there okay examples of such letters 
we have the we can start with the letter Z and then with X and then with F and then with H. So th this is a string of four distinct English letters. Or we can start with U and then with V and then with I and then with P. Or with Q and then R and then S and then D and so on. How many such words? Again, what we are doing here, we are looking at four permutations. Can you see why four permutations? This is a sequence of length four of distinct letters. This is the question, distinct English letters. From what? From which set? From the English letters, from a set containing 26 letters. Containing 26 elements. Okay, so what is the number of such permutations? It is 26 P4, which is equal to 26 factorial divided by N minus K factorial, which is 26 minus 4 factorial, and this is 26 factorial divided by 22 factorial, and this is equal to 26 times 25 times 24 times 23 many strings are there okay so if you keep listing this these strings you will get this huge number of words okay multiply them and get them okay now another question how many permutations of letters a b c d contain the string b c Okay, so what is the question we are looking at? Permutations of the letter. Okay, so when, of the letters. So imagine we have a set containing, so here is our set. It is the set containing the letters A, B, C, and D. And by a permutation of a set, we mean a permutation of all the elements of the set. So here we are looking at four permutations, but any four permutations no, we require the permutation to contain the string BC. Okay, so for example, we are looking for examples like A, D, B, C. See, here is BC. Or we are looking at D, B, C, A. So here is BC. This, this is a string containing BC. Okay, what else we have? BC. A, D, okay, and so on. So now we are looking to such examples, to, to such letters. Okay, how do we think of this problem? The trick here is to consider the string BC as one object. So think of BC as one new letter. Okay, think of it as one new letter. Then the problem will be what? It will talk about the set containing these letters A, D, and the new letter B, C. Okay? And we are looking at three permutations. Why three permutations? Because if we think of B, C as one letter, then look, we look at the sequences of length three. This is one. 2 and this BC is one letter, 3. Okay, so three letters. Here is 1, 2, 3 letters. 1, 2, 3 letters. So we want sequences of length 3 which contains distinct elements from this set, which also contains three letters. So here N, the number of elements in the set is 3, and K is the length of the permutation, which is 3. So the answer to this question is 3P3 which is 3 factorial, which is 6. Okay, so we listed three of them. If you want the other three, they will be B, C, D, A, and then they will be A, B, C, and D, and finally D, A, B, C. So these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. These are the six strings of the letters A, B, C, where B, C come 
the BC string appears in, in them. Yeah. But in general, if we don't require this condition, then the answer will be in how many how many strings of length 4 there are from a set containing 4 letters a, b, c then the answer is 4, p, 4 okay. we want strings of length 4 so 4 permutations from a set containing 4 elements this is 4 factorial okay. this is without this condition 